The story of the village of John Thorpe is a dreadful one, but in a way, it's a perfect illustration of the way Ebola spread across the whole of Sierra Leone. The disease was brought into this small community by one woman. She'd been at the funeral of a religious leader. She'd helped wash his body. He had died of Ebola. She contracted the disease. She came here. She passed it on to her family. They died. Then the disease spread through this small community. Many other people died too, but help didn't arrive. So their corpses, massively contagious, were left lying in these homes, sometimes for days on end. Under those conditions, Ebola spread through this place like wildfire. It has had a massive impact. 10% of the population of this village are now dead. There are 100 orphans here. But now the bodies have gone and the sick have been taken away for treatment, the disease has fallen away too. There hasn't been a positive Ebola test here in John Thorpe for three weeks. There's now an education program well underway to try and teach people how to avoid contracting this virus. But while the disease itself may have gone, its aftermath and its legacy will live with this community for a generation and more.